วัสดีค่ะ Welcome to World of Thai Food. I'm Amy. Right now, I have so many requests for the curry paste recipe. Thank you for all the fans and subscribers for different suggestions. And if you don't subscribe to my YouTube channel yet, please do. And for today, I'm going to make masaman curry paste. Come closer. Let's take a look at the ingredients together. Nutmeg, coriander seed, black pepper, cardamom, cinnamon, cumin seed, clove. Shrimp paste, red dry chili, mace, galangal, lemongrass, sea salt, garlic, shallot, coriander root, and coffee lime rind. And first, we're going to slice the fresh ingredients. Next one is the galangal. When you go and buy it, try to choose the young one because then, when you smash it in the mortar and pestle, it's going to be easy for you. And now I'm slicing the shallots, and if you notice, there is incense all around me. That's because I need to use it to chase the flies away from my food. For the garlic, you just peel it and smash it cautiously. You don't need to slice it. And next one, I'm going to slice the red dry chilies. And if you notice, I use the big red dry chilies because it's going to give more color to the paste, and it is less spicy than the small red dry chilies. After you cut the chilies, you can take some chili seeds out. Then it's going to give less spicy taste into the paste. For the kaffir lime fruit, I just need a little bit of it, so I'm going to show you. And the last fresh ingredient, coriander root. You just smash it and cut it coarsely. All right, so now the fresh ingredients are ready, but I'm going to put them aside just a moment because I'm going to crack the nutmeg, and after that, we're going to move to the kitchen and fry the fresh ingredients. This nutmeg smells so good. I understand now why masaman curry has very, very beautiful smell. We are going to fry these fresh ingredients in the hot wok, and we are going to roast these dry herbs. And after that, we are gonna put everything in the mortar and smash them together. Let's go. Just remember, you just have to use very low heat. Otherwise, it's going to be burnt and it's going to taste bitter. And you don't have to roast it too long. Just when you smell the aroma of the spices, then that's it. You can take it off the heat. If you were here with me right now, you would recognize the character of masaman curry already. And next, I'm going to fry these fresh ingredients. You don't need to wait for the oil to be hot. Because if it's too hot, it's gonna burn these small pieces of the fresh vegetables. I'm starting with lemongrass, and when it turns golden brown, you can take it off the heat. And now I'm going to fry the shallot. People might have question: Why do I have to fry them a different time? It's just because I want every vegetable to turn golden brown, and I don't want them to get burned. Next one. Coriander root together with garlic, and I'll add the coffee alarm rind. Next, galangal. And the reason we have to fry the fresh ingredients is. We need all these fresh ingredients to be crispy, and then when we make the paste, it's gonna be easy, and the color and the oil will come out, and it give out the taste and aroma to the paste. The last one is the chilies. There is no specific order of how to fry these ingredients, but I think the spiciest one is supposed to go last. Now you can see the oil color change. To be a little bit orange. You also save the oil. So this is the shrimp paste. 
Since today I'm planning to cook the dish right away, so I'm going to add the shrimp paste into the curry paste right away. If you plan to just make the curry paste and keep it for a few days, three to seven days, I suggest you not to put the shrimp paste into the pests. And well, so this is how I deal with shrimp paste. I fold it in, in the banana leaves and I'm gonna roast it in the hot fire. Okay, so now it's time to smash the dry spices that we have just roasted. The order of the spices is I try to put the hardest uh, spices and smash it first. You have to crack it and use only the seeds of the cardamom. Let's smash the fresh fried ingredients and the chilies. I hope you can hear how crispy it is and it smells so good. It will take some time, but the taste is going to come out amazing. Actually, you can also use the food processor, but let me tell you, the smell and the taste are not going to be the same. Alright, so I've finished with smashing the fresh ingredients and then I'm going to add the shrimp paste in here right away with a little bit of sea salt. And the last step of this basaman curry paste, I just add the dry spices powder into this paste. And you know, there's some belief among Thai people that if you can hear the pestle and mortar smash loudly from the house, you can rest assured that the daughter of the house will make a good wife. So now you know how to make fresh masaman curry paste. I hope you try this at home. You can find the ingredients below or visit our website worldofthaifood.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Comment, like and share and tell your friends how good it is. And if you like to make the masaman curry dish, you can find the link up there. For today, have a spicy day. Bye bye.